Guys, Convict Lake is so legit. What's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Outline. I'm Rick. Super stoked to have you. If you're new to my channel and you're into guns and gear and off-roading and camping and shooting and checking out national parks and cool spots, this is the place to be. And if that's something you're into, go ahead and kick that subscribe button. In today's video, uh, we are actually headed out towards the Mammoth Lakes area. I've never been there before, but I am so pumped about it. I'm actually doing a really cool project, but I can't tell you about it yet. But I promise you in a few weeks, you'll hear about it. Uh, you'll see it, but it's super, super epic. Um, anyways, guys, uh, that's what I'm doing out here. Um, and I'm vlogging at the same time. And so uh, I just want to share that with you. But in today's video, uh, what we're going to end up doing is actually uh, heading, we're going to be camping out overnight in the Mammoth Lakes area. And uh, tomorrow we're going to be headed out to Convict Lake, which is such a sick place. So I just pulled over off the road, take a little break from driving for a while. Um, but I'm going to get back in the truck and we're going to head to our camp spot right now. And I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so I'm actually at camp now. Um, I just got here uh, a little while ago. I was here earlier and uh, found a great spot, but then I went and checked out Convict Lake because uh, I had some time, and then I figured I'd just come back and, and take that spot again. But unfortunately, this is a pretty popular space um, because there's some hot springs nearby that everybody tries to get to super early in the morning. Right now, it's 70 degrees, and it's beautiful out right now. I'm sure there's people in the hot springs right now. I can hear them. But uh, anyways, guys, the, the camp spot that I had chosen earlier, somebody took it. So I got the last campsite that I could find all the way at the end of the trail. No big deal. Uh, definitely need four-wheel drive to get to this location because the ruts were huge. But the Tundra's got it. You know this. Anyways, guys, I'm going to set up camp now. Uh, I've been on the road all day. Um, just, But it's epic out here. But I want to get some food in my belly. And then I'm going to try and get to bed pretty early because I want to get up pretty early um, to head over to Convict Lake and do some canoeing, and I'm super pumped about that. So that's the plan. All right, guys, so I got uh, the tent all set up. I'm gonna make a sandwich because I'm super, super hungry right now, but uh, you know, it only takes me about five, 10 minutes to set up the tent. So we're good to go. Um, I put the kayak down there. Can't really see it right now because uh, unfortunately I don't have a rack for it, so I had to take it off and just leave it on the floor, which is a bummer because I'm going to have to do that every single night that I uh, go to sleep. But it's all good. It straps down pretty quickly. So I'm going to eat, head up in the tent, call it a night, and I will see you in the morning. Good night. Catch you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Um, it is 5.43 in the morning, and I am headed up to Convict Lake to um, do some kayaking. Wanted to get there before um, all the crowds and everything get a good spot uh, close to the water so it's easier for me to carry the uh, kayak and everything. So I think it's gonna look pretty epic, pretty cool. So that's my plan right now, guys. Um, I know it's kind of dark right now, um, but uh, I think it's gonna be a good day. All right, guys, so I'm here at the lake. Super pumped right now. Um, I got the beanie on because woke up and it was 39 degrees. So it's all good though. We're in good shape. So let's hit the water.
guys, Convict Lake is so legit. I'm so pumped right now. Um, it's been a beautiful morning out here. Got this beautiful mountain in the background over here. Trees. This place is awesome, guys. I'm super pumped to be out here right now. So, um, yeah, so the lake is super calm right now. Uh, the, there's really no wind at all, so it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. But uh, such, such a beautiful place. There is a two-mile, two- or three-mile walk, I think it's two miles, uh, rim walk around the whole lake. So I'm going to hop on that in a little bit. This place is pretty popular, so that is something that you should uh, understand. And it's popular because it's really easy to get to. Um, I try not to go to easy places, but sometimes there's just places I really want to see, like this one. And I have no choice go to, but to go to a popular place. But guys, if you come here, try and you know get a kayak or a canoe or a boat or a freaking floaty. It doesn't matter because the lake is awesome. It's really clear. There are, you can fish here. There were people playing in the water. Uh, and um, it's, it's an awesome place, guys. Probably head back to shore. And then I think when I head back to shore, I'm probably gonna get some breakfast because I'm pretty hungry. But uh, anyways, guys, that's what's up. And uh, I'll check back in with you then. <laughs> Alright guys, the lake was amazing. It was super awesome. I am so stoked. Um, I just got back out um, and uh, it was incredible. Um, the lake is just beautiful. It is just beautiful out here. The weather was super calm. It wasn't windy. It's actually starting to get windy now and the, um, um, the tide is picking up and um, the water is definitely a lot more choppy as I was coming in. but. I was on the water for about three hours, so um, it was cool and um, just really enjoyed. Went around the entire rim um, inside the lake while I was riding the kayak and it was sick. So super, super stoked about that. And um, this place is really, really cool. Uh, they do rent boats here, like pontoon boats. And I think they also might rent the smaller, like little fishing boats, but they definitely rent uh, pontoon boats here. Um, and, uh, if you want a spot here though, you're going to have to get here early because I mean, it's nine o'clock right now in the morning and it's, uh, what is it? Today's Tuesday and the place is packed already. So, um, honestly, I would say by seven o'clock people were coming out in boats already and everything like that. So, um, get here early if you want. Um, you can park anywhere along the trail that you can find and um, hit the trail if you want, or bring your kayaks or your boats or whatever. There is a boat launch here, so you can launch your boat. All right, guys, so I just finished eating. Truck's all packed up, got the kayak back up on the truck. Ready to hit the trail, so let's go.
What's up guys? So just checking in. This place is awesome. I can't say it enough. Um, I'm at the west bank of the lake right now. Uh, it's been a beautiful walk all the way up here. Um, the one thing that you guys should know is that when you're walking along the south side of the lake, that's where most of the shade's going to be. Once you get to the north side, there's an, you're pretty much in the sun the whole time. So, um, depending on what time of day you come, but for the most part, if you're walking on the south side of the lake, I'm sorry, the north side of the lake, then you're probably going to be in the sun most of the day. So I just finished walking on the boardwalk. That was awesome. Um, really cool spot. As you're walking along the boardwalk, there's a lot of little tiny creeks and stuff. So check those out. I checked out a couple of them. Um, but uh, now I'm going to keep uh, walking because I'm probably about a third of the way done with the, uh, the hike around the rim trail. Alright guys, so I am back to the truck. Uh, the trail took me about an hour and 40 minutes. Um, and it's a three hour trail around the rim of the, the lake. It only took me four, uh, an hour and 45 minutes because I was um, vlogging and getting a bunch of b-roll and stuff that you guys have already seen. Guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out today. Really super appreciate it. If you liked what you saw today, go ahead and kick that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon. And, uh, you know, I got tons of more content coming. This is just the beginning. Um, but I think you're really going to dig it. Um, and I got a project I'm working on. I know I've been saying that. Uh, I can't reveal it to you guys yet, but I will reveal it sometime, uh, probably late September. And uh, you guys will actually get to see it then. And then I'll, I'll be able to share, you, share with you more um, information on it. But until then, I'll see you next time right here on Adventure Outline. Peace.